to my channel. This video is super exciting because we are going fall shopping for 2023. I'm going to be hitting up at home, home goods, Kirkland's, possibly Marshall's, and we're just going to get all of the shopping done in one day. I ran by Seven Brew. I got my coffee. This is the Blondie. It's so good, and I always get it half sweet. And we are just going to get tons and tons of shopping done today. I wanted to wait until a time period where my mom had Oliver for multiple hours so that I could really focus on what kind of decor I want this year and also not having to lug him in and out of the car seat multiple times because it is so hot in Arkansas. So we are going to get started shopping. I'm here at Kirkland's right now. I'm going to take you in each store, but I'm not going to show you like all of the fall decor that all the stores have. I'm just going to kind of give you a highlight reel of what I find and think is cute. But when we get home, I'm going to do a haul of everything that I find and hopefully it's a really large haul because I don't want to go back out shopping again. I want this to be the big hurrah and then the next three or four weeks we're just going to be decorating and it's going to be so fun. So without further ado, let's get shopping. If you're excited for fall, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, I would love to have you, but let's go. Can we all take a moment to appreciate the fact that at home gives you a place to put your cup in the cart. I'm always looking for a place to put my cup, but anyways, let's get down to business. They had a ton of cute doormats, tons and tons of florals at home always does, and they're very affordable. This would be so cute if you had a really large island. They always have a ton of wreaths. Their individual florals were all like $5 and under. This is what I'm talking about. So many things like this. I just picked a few of my faves, but Hobby Lobby is normally where I get my florals because they're so inexpensive when you get them 50% off. But At Home also has some really good florals for really good prices. They had a ton of pumpkins. They were fully stocked on all of their fall stuff. So exciting. You're the pumpkin to my pie. I thought that was so cute. I found this really cute fuzzy pumpkin. You're going to see here in just a second what I ended up with. But these iridescent mugs what are they like amber glass iridescent they were so beautiful that would be so cute in a coffee bar and i thought that leaf would look so cute on some floating shelves or maybe just sitting around somewhere this mushroom is adorable i thought that glass pumpkin was really pretty for k cups and then they also had these really pretty knitted pumpkins with the braided stems i loved those but now we are moving on to home goods and I was disappointed because they didn't have any fall out, but they did have lots of everyday decor that went with fall. So lots of warm tones, woods, lots of fun textures. I found this suede pillow that I loved, but it was $50. And if you've been around for a minute, you know, last fall, I actually bought a leather pillow from Home Goods for $50 and I never did find a place for it. So I still need to do that. But anyways, we passed that up on this day. Now over to Marshall's and all they had on this day was Halloween, but we did find a couple things in the regular home decor section. Okay, I'm back. It's a couple days later. I grabbed myself a cup of coffee and I'm about to share everything that I found the other day. I got home that evening and I was exhausted. I don't know about y'all, but shopping literally just wears me out. And when I get home, I have no energy left. So. We're gonna go ahead and go through everything that I got. I told y'all at the beginning of this video that I was gonna go in Kirkland's, and then I wasn't in the mood to go in Kirkland's. So we just hopped over to At Home, we did Marshall's and Home Goods. And then if I see something else that I got somewhere else, I'll let you know. But I think those are the three main stores that we found some really good stuff in. Now I will say there wasn't a whole lot of fall stuff out, and I was kind of shocked because I waited until later this year. Like it's today is August 5th, and it was early, it was two days ago. So I'm not really sure where all the fall decor is at. There's some Halloween stuff out in Home Goods and Marshalls, but I didn't see anything for fall except for at, at home. So, anyways, I always like to buy decor that can kind of work for multiple seasons, but it gives the vibes of fall or Christmas or whatever season I'm shopping for. So, it wasn't a huge deal for me. I did find a few pumpkin things, um, but. I mostly was on the hunt for really like versatile decor that I can use year round, but it will really help add a lot to my fall decor. So I'm going to go ahead and start. I'm not really going to go by stores because I just put all of this stuff here and I have no idea where stuff came from. But as I lift up the item, I'll let you know where it's from and how much I paid for it. So we started at At Home and I found this gorgeous corduroy pumpkin pillow. I told y'all last year I wanted one of these for our coffee table and now our coffee table is no more because Oliver would not stop climbing on it. But I'm really thinking about going to get a similar coffee table. So I may end up with the same one or I may get something a little bit different. But I really want to bring the coffee table back. I miss it and I think Oliver is old enough now where if we tell him not to climb on it, he'll be better about listening. So. 
we'll see about that but I really want to bring back the coffee table I think this would be a really perfect centerpiece for like a cozy ottoman because it's not breakable and it's just really pretty for fall um, it also makes for a great like layering pillow on the couch so I'm excited to put this to use I may go get some more of these but I found this at, at home and it was $29.99 you can probably find this for cheaper somewhere else, but anyways, I thought that was gorgeous. It's corduroy and it has a burlap stem, so love that. And then I found this at Home Goods, and at first I was like, I am obsessed. And then I got to thinking, this is perfect for fall because of the amber glass. And I love using amber glass at fall or during fall time because it screams like warm and cozy. So I'm excited to put these to use. And one of the trends that I'm loving right now is the really dark chocolate brown color. I feel like that went out for the longest time, and now I've been seeing lots of chocolate brown. So I think I'm going to put some dark brown candles in these candle holders, and I feel like this will be a perfect piece for our fireplace in our room, or maybe on top of the piano. I've been considering getting rid of our piano, so we'll see what happens with this piece, but I'm, a, I'm in love with it, and I think it's perfect for fall. Found that at Home Goods, and it was also $29.99. Okay, the next thing I picked up was this little wood piece, and I thought this was so cute, maybe to sit on top of some stacked books. And I feel like it screams fall because it's got that warm wood tone, and it's such an easy way to warm up a space for only $6.99. You can't beat that, so I thought that was a really pretty piece from at home. I also picked up these wood boards from Home Goods. They are like always stocked with the best wood pieces. The one that I showed you in the part where I was shopping, I love the round one. I didn't end up purchasing that one. I actually drove around with it in my car for a long time and then didn't end up getting it because it wasn't going to fit the space I needed it to. But I did find this really pretty one. This is a little bit smoother than this one. And I think I'm going to use this by our sink to set our soap on as well as maybe a little fall floral arrangement. So we'll see what I end up doing with that. It was $12.99. And then I also picked up this one. This is the one that I loved first. It's got the rough edges, and I thought that was so perfect for fall to put some pumpkins or something on. I was originally going to use this one by the sink, but I think this one is treated a little better to withhold water. So I may put this one by our coffee station and put some like little gold spoons on it or some little um, vanilla flavorings or whatever. So we'll see what I end up doing with this. I may use it in a bathroom. I'm not sure yet, but this one was also $12.99, so I always love those little wood pieces at fall. I fell in love with this. I went in Marshalls. They didn't have a whole lot of fall out. They just had mostly Halloween, but I thought this was so pretty for fall. It was $10 bucks from Marshalls and so pretty, and I feel like this is timeless. It's going to work for years to come, so I love that. I picked up some honey almond soap. I believe this was also from Marshalls, and it was just $5.99 and thought that was so pretty to set on my little wood platform here by the sink in the kitchen possibly with this maybe just like a simple little setup in the kitchen there for fall thought that was so pretty and then maybe even add a candle there this was the oh or this is the oak and rye candle and it smells so good it is mahogany and i was telling will anytime a candle has mahogany in the name it's going to be good it smells so warm and cozy perfect for fall I'm obsessed and it was only this one was super cheap it was only $7.99 and I feel like for a good candle that is a killer price from Marshalls and it's such a pretty color for fall it looks like leather it has a little leather, it has a little leather strap around it and I just thought that was so pretty okay next I picked up this mushroom and my sisters and my husband are making fun of me for it and I'm probably gonna end up taking it back because I don't want it to give off the wrong idea but I thought it was so pretty and glam and fun for fall. And I was really thinking about setting it in the hutch or along with some like wood pieces to make it warm up the space, you know? Maybe put something like this behind it and just allow it to be like really warm and cozy with a pop of glam. But we all know what mushrooms are associated with. So I don't know if I'm gonna end up keeping this, but we'll see. I still love it. It's perfect for fall, but anyways. I picked up this beautiful pottery piece from Home Goods. Could not pass it up. It was actually on one of those carts where they were still putting stuff out for fall, and I snagged it off of the cart. And it was only $20. You cannot beat that price for a gorgeous pottery piece like this. The inside is like that terracotta color, and I just love this piece. I cannot wait to see what happens with this piece for fall. I was thinking maybe get like a wood platform for our kitchen table 
set this on top, put some gorgeous fall florals in it with a candle, maybe some salt and pepper shakers, and it would make a really fun little centerpiece for our kitchen. So I'm excited to play around with that. Okay, the next piece I picked up was from Home Goods. This is a really large amber glass vase, and it was $16.99. I was shocked at the prices of the vases that I found at Home Goods. The amber glass and the pottery, such great deals for really large pieces, really good quality pieces. I was thinking maybe put this on the kitchen table as a centerpiece, or I may use this and then put this on top of the hutch. I picked up a really old window from our church flea market, and it was only $5, and it's gorgeous, and it really screams farmhouse, but I think I'm going to kind of make it look a little bit more modern with pieces like this next to it. And so I'm excited to play around with that. I think it'll be really pretty for fall and just bring in lots of really fun, warm, rustic tones. So I was excited to find that piece. Like I said, Home Goods did not have a whole lot of fallout, more Halloween than anything. I also found these pillows at Marshall's. And I was really looking for something that screamed fall a little bit more, but then I was thinking I can use these all year round, both in our bedroom and in the um, living room on the couches or, you know, wherever in the entryway. And they're so pretty. They're not feather, but they have a lot of give to them, so you can still make them look really cozy. And I just fell in love with these. So I don't know if I'm going to use these for fall or not, but I'm definitely going to save these back and use them at some point. And I may use them for fall. I have a whole lot of fall pillows, so... I really need to get some pillow storage in this house, but I got two of those, and I think these will be really pretty, probably in the living room. But anyways, that's all I picked up for this haul. I hope y'all enjoyed. I'm so excited about the pieces that we found. I may end up going out one more time. I know I said I wouldn't, but they didn't have a whole lot of pump, like pumpkin stuff, fall stuff, and I kind of want to go one more time when they get all of the fall stuff out. So we'll see if I can hit up the stores one more time this week before we start decorating. But I'm super excited to start decorating. And in next week's video, I'm not sure if it'll be my first fall decorate video or if it'll be the following week. I'm really hoping it will be next week. I'm hoping I can pull it together. I've got some things coming in the mail. And I don't know if it'll all be here on time. But if it is, it'll be next week. If not, it'll be the following week. But regardless, in next week's video, I'm going to be doing some fall decorating, whether it's in the bathrooms, maybe just like a little coffee bar. We're doing some fall decorating because I'm so excited to get started. But anyways, that's all I got from that little shopping trip. Okay, I just found this little pumpkin that Oliver ran off with. It's fuzzy, super cute from at home. And I figured this would be perfect to put somewhere that I know he's gonna grab it and run off with it. And it won't matter because it's just fluffy. It was $4.99 at at home, so cute. But anyways, what I came in here to tell y'all is that I have been doing some rearranging in our living room. I've had so many people tell me that I need to do my couches like this because it makes the room so much more open. And it's so true, however, I don't really know if open is what I'm going for, and I'm kind of finding that out now. I don't like how everything is open and not like tight and cozy, um, but I also don't like this layout because our walls don't line up. If you follow me on Instagram, I'm beating a dead horse right now because I've been talking about this all week, but I am kind of thinking now, I'm just gonna put it back how it was. Y'all are gonna be so mad at me, but I am gonna share with you what I did. I'm gonna show you. And this is something I've never done before. I actually moved the furniture to all of the walls that y'all were saying would look best because I'm honestly on the same page. I feel like it would too, but for some reason, whenever I do it, it just does not feel right. And in the back of my head, I'm like, where in the heck is my Christmas tree going to go? And a lot of y'all said that too. So I'm kind of thinking about just mixing this all back up, not mixing it back up, just putting it back where it was. But first I'm going to go ahead and show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so coming in from the kitchen, this is what we did. We put the big couch over here in front of the window, the smaller couch over there. I brought Oliver's tree in from his room just to kind of fill that space right there. The rug is in here. The TV stand is over there on that far wall. This is what everybody's been wanting me to do. And if you've been following me for a while, you know I actually did this when we first moved in. There's a bunch of cleaning videos with my TV right here and a Christmas decorate with me even. But where are we gonna put our Christmas tree? Because before I think we put our Christmas tree over here in this corner, but then you can't like watch Christmas movies and have the Christmas tree in the ambiance, if you know what I mean. Um, it's not terrible, I guess. And it does make the room more open, which is what everybody is saying. But I'm not really sure if that's what I'm going for. And on top of all that, do y'all see where the rug's at? This is where the TV wall ends over here. So very off-centered, the walls do not line up. It would be the couches over here in the corner. TV center and then we've got this wall over here with the piano which 
think I'm gonna get rid of the piano. I think we've decided that's what we're gonna do and just do a big family photo wall. But I think we're gonna move everything back how it was. I want it to feel cozy in here. This feels a little bit too open, too roomy, and I would have to do a whole lot of redecorating to make it work. So don't mind the toys over there in the corner. We just brought those in from the car. But I think this is the wall that we're gonna do the family photos on. We're gonna do a whole bunch of family photos and then the lights at the top. And then over here, we're gonna do the board and batten with a mirror and a little slim table so that it'll be easy to walk through in the hall. And we're gonna close our living room back up. I'm so sorry to those of you who really wanted it to be open. I mean, I'm not sorry, obviously, it's my living room, but I agree with y'all when you say that. It feels so much more open. It feels like we have way more room in here and it is ideal. But I feel like the amount of effort I would have to put in to like completely redecorate everything. And on top of that, the couch against the wall really bothers me. Not only because of the two grays not working together, but I just don't like couches on walls. I've never been a fan of that. So we're just gonna move everything back how it was. We're gonna stick with our original plan. This house is not big, so there's no reason trying to make it seem big. <laughs> it's a small house and it's honestly really cozy when we had it closed off. So these floors are filthy. While I was rearranging, my feet turned black on the bottom. So we're gonna go ahead and pull up this rug move everything out of the way, sweep, mop, and then move it back how it was. And then Oliver and I, he's napping right now, but when he wakes up, we're gonna bring all of the fall decor in and probably put it up against this wall right here and sort through all of the fall decor that we already have and um, kind of declutter some stuff that we don't need this year and then we'll make dinner. I shared a lot of this rearranging process over on Instagram this week and thank y'all so much for all of your suggestions. I had so many messages roll in about how I could redecorate in here, how I could move things around and make it work so that this open space works better for us. But honestly, at the end of the day, we don't really care if it's open. We really just want it to feel cozy and we want it to feel like our home. And without it being the way that it has been, it just doesn't feel right. So we're gonna move it back how it was. I really just did this one last time to make sure this is how we wanted it before we started doing projects in here because we're about to start the board and batten wall. We're gonna do some built-ins for the TV and I just wanted to make sure that we were doing those on the right walls. And I know now I'm confident that this is how we love our living room. It's kind of hard to understand it when you're not in the living room, I think, because our walls don't line up and so certain things just don't work in here. But anyways, we love the way that it is now. We've always loved it, it just felt a little bit closed in, but honestly, after seeing it open, I don't know that I really want it super open. So, we're happy with the way it turned out. We're gonna get these floors all swept and mopped. Oliver was sleeping and I was so happy that I got this done before he woke up because it was such a task to move all that furniture, get these floors cleaned up, and then as soon as he woke up, we went ahead and moved all the furniture back and we're gonna cook dinner, pull out all of our existing fall decor, go through it, declutter, all of the things because we are getting ready to do some decorating. Good morning.
We had all of this going on behind the piano even though we just cleaned it like three weeks ago. So we're gonna go ahead and get that taken care of. Gross. such a stormy day that's why our wreath was inside because the wind was blowing and our wreath was just slamming against the door and I didn't want the dog to bark and then Oliver to wake up so anyways that's why I put the wreath back on the door and then a lot of y'all have told me you like the white bench here better than the gray one and I think I agree with you we're gonna try it there again it does fill the space a little bit better and then now we're putting these family photos back up on this wall we're going to drag the piano back over here but I do think that Pretty soon we're going to swap out this piano and just do a really nice family picture wall here with some built-in lights and it'll free up a lot of walking space. I remember at Oliver's birthday party last year with both Will's family and my family here, it was so hard to fit everybody in our little house and there was definitely not enough seating so it was really hard to make it happen. We made it work but it was just really tight. So I'm thinking for this year we're either going to host his birthday party somewhere else or you know we just need to free up some more space in this living room so hopefully getting rid of that piano and then getting rid of the bench behind the couch will really help we're gonna light a candle and y'all this candle i think is from tj maxx it's called fireside it's from last year and it smells so good it smells just like the fall like the beginning of fall when it starts to get cool and everybody starts lighting their bonfires that's the best smell in the whole entire world so that's what our living room smelled like on this day it was so cozy we're going to vacuum up these rugs and then we're going to get the other side of the living room mopped up For dinner we're making my mom's dumpling recipe this is the dumplings that i grew up on they're so delicious they are so easy probably the quickest dinner ever you just throw some chicken stock in a pot i always put my chicken in the crock pot so it's baking it's almost done and then you just throw the dumplings together it's like four ingredients you mix it together in a bowl alexa off and then you slice them up you throw them in with your chicken and your broth and it's good to go it's so delicious it's one of my favorite fall recipes so cozy, we eat it all year round, but it's especially cozy in the fall. So let's get this started. So for the dumplings, you just use a half cup of chicken broth, a large spoon of shortening, and then two eggs beaten with salt, and then two cups of flour. 
you mix it all together. I just do it with a spoon and then you roll it out. You cut them into little, however you want them, but I cut them into little rectangles. I like to roll them out really thin because they do grow once you start boiling them and you pop them in the water with the chicken broth and they cook so fast within like five minutes, your whole entire dinner is done, especially if you do the chicken ahead of time. I know you're actually supposed to make the whole chicken in the pot. That's what my mom did growing up, but I love the taste of crock pot chicken. I think it's so tender, so delicious, and it's also just so quick. So I always make the dumplings, and then once they're done, I pop the chicken in, mix it all together, put lots of pepper in there, give it some spice. It's so good, y'all. It is delicious. Um, Will tasted these when he came home from work, and he said this was the best dumplings he's ever had, or he said best dumplings you've ever made. And so these were so delicious. Highly recommend this recipe. You can make the consistency a lot thicker if you add flour. I actually added a tiny bit of heavy whipping cream on this night. My mom never did that growing up, but I feel like it added a lot of like really good creaminess and flavor. It was so good. So just however you want to do it, I always mix it up. But anyways, in the water, I just add the broth, the heavy whipping cream, the dumplings, add the chicken in and you're good to go. I'm slicing them here super thin and these dumplings were delicious. So for the broth, I just like to make a pot of water, add about four or five bouillon cubes, and then maybe add a little bit of chicken broth in, like store-bought chicken broth and just kind of taste it. Maybe add some salt and pepper. Here I'm shredding up my chicken from the crock pot. Crock pot chicken is unbeatable. It's so delicious. You just cook it about three and a half hours on high in the crock pot with some chicken broth and salt and pepper, and it makes the best chicken. This is the same chicken that I use for my salads and my chicken salad sandwiches, but how delicious does this look? Our chicken in dumplings, we don't ever make super thick. A lot of people like their like liquid consistency really thick. I like it to be more like chicken noodle soup. And this was so good. I did add a little bit of heavy cream and that made it perfect. Salt and pepper, just kind of do it to taste and it is so delicious. And it was actually kind of funny because Oliver loved it. He actually was, I gave him a plate of chicken nuggets and fruit and veggies. And he actually asked for my bowl of chicken and dumplings when he saw me eating it. And so I got him his own and he devoured the whole thing, which is not like Oliver. So definitely give it a try. They are so delicious. But now we are going through all of this fall decor. I was sorting it into categories of garlands, wreaths, pumpkins, Halloween decor, and then pillows and also outside decor. And I think we're missing a tote, but we're going to go ahead and go through all of this and then sort through it. Oliver was very taken with that gnome and it made me laugh because when I was a teacher, my mom actually got me that for my classroom and that really large orange pumpkin. And I would move the spot where that gnome was every day and my students loved it. And when I missed a day, they would get mad at me or they, you know, they would get mad at the fact that the gnome was not in a new spot. And so that made me realize I'm going to be the worst when it comes to moving like Elf on the Shelf because I couldn't even remember to do it for my students before I had a kid. And then once I have a kid, I've got to like set an alarm or something. But anyways, that gnome brings back so many sweet memories of my students. But we are going through all of this fall decor and I'm thinking, what in the world? I'm missing so many things. So I think I've got a few more totes in the garage that I need to go find. Okay, never have I ever done inventory before the season began. I need to declutter a bunch of this because some of this stuff, okay, we will in just a second, okay? Some of this stuff we don't use anymore, and as y'all know, I like purchasing new stuff each season, and we just cannot keep all of it. We don't have room for it, so <laughs> we're going through everything. Some of that stuff needs to go out to the Halloween tubs, and some of this stuff is getting decluttered, but basically I made a pile of the pillows, a pile of the Halloween house, yeah, a pile of the outdoor decor, 
I feel like I had more fall blankets than this. I think we're missing one more tote in the garage because I'm missing some stuff. Um, some wreaths, some garlands, some lit garlands. Is it stuck? Okay, hold on just a second and I'll help you. All of our pumpkins over here. And this is how I know that we're missing stuff because I know I have like a million more pumpkins. So I'm missing a tote or maybe the pumpkins are loose in the attic. I need to go look. Um, Oliver put one more pumpkin back in there. I don't think this little house opens, bub. This is for our Christmas decor. I don't know how it ended up in here. You want to see? Okay, hold on just a second. All of this stuff back here is the florals for fall. So I'm just going to go through this, kind of declutter what I don't want, put the rest back in in categories of kind of what I showed you. Pumpkins, florals, garlands, wreaths, outdoor decor, and then I'll take that Halloween stuff out to the garage. And then we'll make a list of everything that we want to add to our things this year. And then I also need to go back up in the attic because I think we're missing some stuff. found a lot of really good stuff last year so I'm excited to decorate again this year but I'm looking for a few things and one of those things is a larger fall tree and I know that I can find it at Hobby Lobby and that's why I didn't go to Hobby Lobby the other day because I know that there's certain things that I can find there and I can count on them for certain things um, but I'm also looking for some new sheets a new shower curtain I want to change up the shower curtain for fall this year a few things like that but other than that I really don't feel like we need a whole lot. We have a lot of like lighting and garlands and florals and pumpkins. So we're kind of set, but I am waiting for a few things to trickle in. And then I do need to go back to the store one more time. But next week's video will have a little bit of fall decorating. So come back next week. There will probably be some cleaning and decorating recipe maybe. I don't know. But anyways, thank y'all so much for stopping by today. I hope y'all enjoyed. Got lots of motivation to either clean, cook, get ready for fall. If y'all are excited for fall, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. And I will see y'all very soon. Bye.